I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on straight lines. Here is a very important concept. We are going to now understand how to find position of two points with reference to lines. Now this concept is very important from examination point of view and questions based on this concept have been asked in SAT, GCSE and even in IIT JE. So I hope you'll find this video interesting and useful. Here are four questions which I'm going to discuss and later we'll have four more multiple choice questions which have been seen in previous test papers. So the questions are like this. We'll actually talk about some basic concept and then begin solving them one by one. Question number one is determine if the points 3 minus 1 minus x2 lie on the same side of the given line x plus 3 y plus 4 equals to 0 or on opposite side explain your reasoning so we'll answer this question and then clarify the concept question 2 is determine if the given points are on the same side of a line or on the opposite side explain your reasoning so question number 2 is a practice question for you based on your learning of question number 1 question 3 is determine if the point lies on the side of the origin relative to line 2x plus 3y minus 5 equals to 0. You can interpret this using the solution of first and second. Question number 4 here is, which of the following points is on the side of the origin relative to the line 2x minus 3y equals to 5? So that's a multiple choice question. Perfect. Now amongst the questions which we have seen in many test papers are kind of like this. A triangle is formed by the points minus 2, 4, 1, minus 2, and 3, 4. Point P, 2, N, where N belongs to integers, is inside the triangle. The possible number of such points can be how many, right? Okay. Uh, very much similar to this is another question, just for your practice. It says, a triangle is formed by the points minus 2, 0, 2, 8, and, three, and 7, 3. Point P, A3, A belongs to integers, is inside the triangle. Find the maximum number of such points. Then we'll have a question which says, which pair of the points lie on the same side of the given line, 3x minus 8y minus 7 equals to 0? So you need to figure out all of these which are on the same side then okay so these are the questions which we are going to discuss let's begin with the very basic concept so so i've taken a general question here to understand the concept given two points p x1 y1 and q x2 y2 and the line ax plus by plus c equals to zero find the condition for p and q to be on the opposite side of the line so solution of this will actually help you to understand how to solve the rest of the questions, correct? Now let us assume that we have a line which I've just drawn here as our line L whose equation is AX plus BY plus C equals to zero. Now we want to figure out if these points P and Q are on the same side or on the opposite side right so there could be two conditions let's say we have a point p here and a point q on the other side right in that case what does it really mean it really means that if i substitute the value of x1 and y1 in the given equation i'll get ax1 plus b y1 plus c equals to zero right only if the point is on the line right so so this is the condition if i get if the point p is on l if this is the line l correct but on the other hand if i get a value which is ax1 by1 plus c is greater than zero that means what that means that 
P is on the right side of the line, right? So that means, uh, let's say line L is given here. In that case, uh, it right lies in a domain where we can say the point P is on above line, above line L, correct? If I have a condition that AX1 plus B Y1 plus C is less than zero, that means as shown here, P is below the line L. Does it make sense to you? Correct. So that is the base of our understanding. So when I substitute this point P, the coordinates X1 and Y1, then the value of this function decides whether the point is on the line, above the line or below the line. Correct. Same is the case with Q also. Correct. That means what? That really means that if we have both the points on the same side, same side means what? Same side means both are above or both are below, right? So same side means what? Same side will mean that either we have on this side or we have on that side, right? So off the line. That really means that both could have either a positive value or a negative value. But in any case, for same side, it is absolutely clear that AX1 plus BY1 plus C times AX2 plus BY2 plus C should be greater than zero, right? Then they are on the same side. Perfect. For the opposite sides, one of them will be above the line, the other one below the line, right? So that basically means that this product AX1 plus BY1 plus C times AX2 plus BY2 plus C should be less than zero. Does it make sense to you? So I hope you got the concept, right? Now, based on this concept, let's try to answer the questions. Then everything will be absolutely clear, right? So let's take our very first question, which is determine if these two points lie on the same side of this line or on the opposite side. So we're talking about the line, which is X plus three Y plus four, right? Equals to zero. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to substitute the value 3 minus 1 for x and y, right? So, let's call this as our point P. This is point Q for us. So, so if point P is 3 minus 1, then what do I get here? Well, I get 3 plus 3 times minus 1 plus 4. Let's calculate this value. 3 minus 3 is 0 plus 4. Well, that is equal to 4. That means greater than 0. Is it clear to you? Perfect. Now, let's substitute the point Q, which is minus 6, 2. So if I substitute that, I get minus 6 plus 3 times 2 plus 4. And that is equal to minus 6 plus 6 plus 4. And that is, well, that is also 4 anyway. The important thing is both are giving us a value which is greater than zero. That means they are both on the same side, right? So they are on, so therefore, since both are positive, right? So they are on the same side. Correct? So that is how you could actually answer the question. Now, if you sketch, then you can actually get a clear idea that this is a line with a negative slope, kind of like this. And in our case, both the points will be on this, top of this since we have a positive value. Does it make sense to you? So I hope the concept is clear to you, right? So it's that simple. Let's look into the second question. Now, actually you can pause the video, answer this question. Perfect. So again, we now have a line which is 2x plus y equals to 5, right? So, so we could just bring 5 to this side. So write this as 2x plus y minus 5 equal to 0. And now we are going to test our points. So the first point to test here is, let's call it P, 3 minus 2. So if I substitute that, what do I get? I get 2 times 3 
plus minus 2 minus 5 and that is equal to 6 minus 2 minus 5 and this value is actually negative 1. So it is less than 0. Correct? Now let's check the other point which is minus 6 and 10. Now in this case if I substitute minus 6 here I get 2 times minus 6 plus 10 minus 5. Now that is equal to minus 12 plus 10 minus 5. Now that is minus so that is minus 7, right? So which is again less than 0. That means this time for the given line, which is again kind of like this, we have both the points P and Q on the lower side. So they are both negative. Do you see that? And therefore they are on the same side. Is that clear to you? So that is how you are going to answer. Perfect. Let's take another question. So this time we have... Uh, two questions on this page including a multiple choice question. So the very first one here is determine if this point lies on the side of origin relative to that particular point. So you could think origin is like 0 0 correct. So if I substitute origin which is 0 0 what do I get? I get 0 plus 0 minus 5. Well this value is less than 0 right it's minus 5. So we get the C value. Do you see that constant value? Right. So when we are talking about origin, we are comparing with this value. If it is negative, the other value being negative or positive will decide whether you are on the same side or on the opposite side. Is that clear? Let's now use the other point. We call this other point as P, uh, which is 3 minus 1. So if I substitute 3 minus 1, I get 2 times 3 plus 3 times minus 1 minus 5 and this is equal to 6 minus 3 minus 5 and that is minus 8 we do get minus 2 which is less than 0 so both are negative so again we get the answer at same side is that clear correct now let's look into question number 4 which is a multiple choice question it says which of the following points is on the side of the origin right so so that means both in the earlier case both were on the side of the origin right now here we are saying which of the following points is on the side of the origin relative to this particular line 2x minus 3y equals to 5 so let me rewrite this line as 2x minus 3y minus 5 equal to 0 so what are we looking for we are looking for after substituting, if I get negative, then they are on the same side, right? So which of the following points is on the side of origin? Same side of origin, that means. Is that clear to you? Okay. So let's substitute the very first point, which is minus 5 minus 1. So if I do that, I get 2 times minus 5 minus 3 times minus 1 minus 5. And that gives me how much? This is minus 10, that makes plus 3, and this is minus 5. Clearly, this is less than 0. So, which of the following points is on the same side as origin? This is correct. Is that clear to you? Let's substitute the other point and also check. Because the question says points, right? There could be more than one answer. Okay. So, when I substitute minus 1 here, I get 2 times minus 1 minus 3 times 2 and then we have minus 5, let's calculate this, minus 2, minus 6, minus 5, all are negative, definitely it is less than 0, so that is also correct, perfect, let's check 1 and 2, so if I substitute 1 here, I get 2, minus substituting 2, I get 6, minus 5 e equals to what, well this is also negative, right, so it is negative 9 so that is also on the same side as the origin the last point <clears throat> here is 4 5 so if I substitute 4 here I get 2 times 4 minus 3 times 5 minus 5 and 8 minus 15 minus th this is also less than 0 so this is also on the same side as the origin this makes sense to you so in our case all the four points are on the same side of the origin. So I hope with this the concept is absolutely clear to you. Now let's take those multiple choice questions and see if you have really understood. 
Here is a very interesting question which has been taken from previous test papers. Which pair of points lie on the same side of 3x minus 8y minus 7 equals to 0? So that is the equation of a line given to you. We need to figure out which one of these lie on the same side. So the idea here is once we substitute these values, if we get both as positive or both as negative, then they are on the same side, otherwise not. So let's test our values. So with 0 minus 1, substituting here, we get 3 times 0 plus, I wrote plus, well anyway, minus 8 times minus 1, uh, minus 7 equals to what? So that gives you 0 plus 8 minus 7. That gives you plus 1, which is greater than 0. Correct. Now let's substitute 0, 0. So if I substitute 0, 0, I get 0 minus 0 minus 7, right, which is equal to minus 7, which is less than 0. So definitely this is not on the same side. Correct. So this one, this pair is opposite ends. Correct. Let's check the next one here, which is 4 minus 3. So if I substitute 4 here, I get 3 times 4 minus 8 times minus 3 minus 7 equals to what? Well, uh, it is 12 plus, this is a big number, 24 minus 7. So definitely this is greater than 0, right? The other value is 0 and 1. So if I substitute 0 here, we get 0 and minus 8 times 1 minus 7. So that gives you minus 8 and minus 7. Definitely, this is negative, less than 0. So this is also not working for us. Correct? Let's substitute the third point, which is minus 3 minus 4 here. So we get 3 times minus 3, minus 8 times minus 4, minus 7. So that is negative. 3 times 3 is 9. And that is plus 8 times 4, 32, minus 7. So 7 and 9 gives you a value of 15. So this value is definitely greater than 0. Let's now substitute 1 and 2 to figure out what this is. So 3 times 1 minus 8 times 2 minus 7 gives you 3. 8 times 2 is minus 16 and minus 7. Well, this value is less than 0. So that is also opposite ends. Now let's check the last value, minus 1 minus 1. So 3 times minus 1, minus 8 times minus 1, and then uh, we get minus 7, which is minus 3 plus 8 minus 7. So minus 10 plus, so this is minus 2, which is less than 0. Now let's substitute 3 and 7 in it. So when I substitute 3 and 7, what do I get? Okay, so we get 3 times 3 is 9, this is 56 negative, and that is negative 7. So this definitely is negative, right, less than 7. So clearly, both are negative, right? So both negative, right? So that means on the same side, on the same side of the line. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to answer this question, and we get D as the correct option. Does make sense, right? So, so that's how we are going to answer these questions. 